Hey everybody, Spartan311 here, back with a new video. Um, this one's going to cover Bluetooth programming for your Apex radio. This was uh, at the suggestion of one of my followers on there, so thanks to him. Here's a video for you. Now, first things first, your Apex radio must have Bluetooth enabled via its flash code. If not, you're not going to have a whole lot of luck with this. Um, oh, second thing is I'm going to try and dual record this here using my phone. Um, so if it's a little wonky, sorry about that. First things first, you need to be able to access the Bluetooth menu on your phone. Your phone. How about your radio? There we go. And turn its visibility on. And then in Windows 10, we're going to open our settings, go to devices, and add a Bluetooth device. It's going to search for it, find it. You click on it, tell it to connect. You're going to get a pairing request. We hit OK. We're going to check to make sure the pin is good. It is. Hit OK. Everything's good to go. Now, you heard the radio connect and then immediately disconnect. That's nothing new. That's normal because Windows is a little bit slower at adding Bluetooth devices than the radio is. So that's what happened there. As you see, Spartan Apex is now ready to go. Windows 10 has to install some drivers to make everything work. So now that that's done, all we have to do is down here, open up our little uh, Bluetooth devices menu by right clicking on it and telling it to join a personal area network. Second window pops up, there's our Apex. Under the connect using, we're going to tell it to use the access point. You heard the radio beep, that means it is now connected, and as you can see, our Bluetooth icon has now turned blue, which means it is connected. Once that's all said and done, you go back to your Apex CPS. Under device, you're going to see some different options here. There's the right device button, we don't want to do that yet. We're going to change our communication method. Yours is probably defaulted to USB cable. Uh, POP 25 programming over P25 is for over the air programming kind of stuff. We want Bluetooth. As you see, there's an IP address that's auto populated in there. Um, don't bother changing that unless you're having connection issues. Then you need to find out your Bluetooth IP address from your radio and input it there. But typically, the radio tells the computer, hey, this is my IP address because it's got a default in there. So once that's all said and done, you simply hit right device. And that's when the magic happens. CPS is going to send the code plug information over to your radio. As you see, it's in programming mode. Uh, depending on the size of your code plug, it could take a while. Like mine's pretty substantial in size, so it might take a minute. Once it's done, it'll tell you everything's good to go. There's our updating. We have our write complete message down here. And everything is PG keen. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's just like pairing any other device. Um, sometimes Windows 10 is not fast enough for the radio and it gets a little pissy about it. But other than that, that's it. Thanks guys for watching. As always, I appreciate your time. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks.